Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I just wanted to come in and run my mouth and talk about some people. Um, I really wanted to talk about Stephen A. Smith, but I'm going to save that um, until after I talk about Nene Leak. So let's talk about Nene just real quickly. Okay, so we, we, we went live the other day, and we were talking about Nene and a clip that went viral of Nene basically talking about how she thought about um, just basically finding someone you know, a man, and even if she really wasn't in love with a person, um, still kind of being with the person, right? And some of you said that we were taking what Nene said out of context, and we should have listened to what she said before. So I went back and listened to the full video, because the clip that we played, that I played, was only like two minutes and like 20 seconds. Excuse me. So I went back into her YouTube page, and I listened to the entire video, and because the entire video was like only like 11 minutes and some change. And um, to me, I still kind of stand on what she said, on what I said. This is what I heard Nene say in her video. And I want to discuss some things. What Nene said to me, what I heard Nene say was, and what I feel like Nene was saying is, Due to the fact that her husband has passed away, Nene always had in her head that Greg was going to be her person. Greg was going to be her emergency contact. And I don't know if Nene ever really thought that there was a chance that Greg would not be here. Before I go on, as insensitive as this may sound, the fact is. We need to get out of our head that, girl, people are in our lives forever. Everybody is going to die. Not to trigger anyone, not to make this some sad video, but girl, I'm going to die, you're going to die, your mama going to die, your granddaddy going to die, your daughter going to die, your niece going to die, your dog going to die. Girl, everything that has breath has an expiration date, period. And I understand that Nene is still probably going through her grieving process, right? Because even though I don't think that Nene was in love with Greg, I think that she still had love for the person who was her husband. I think that Nene stayed with Greg out of obligation, especially once she found especially once they found out he had cancer. Nene already let it, let it be known that her and Greg were pretty much in an open relationship on Angela Yee's podcast. And that Greg was allowed, and I'm sure she had her own. She, they both could basically, I guess, do their own thing as long as they didn't really touch anybody within the circles that they ran. I think that Nene is going to have to get to a point where instead of her thinking that the only person that can be her emergency contact and the emergency contact thing came about because she said she was having a conversation with a friend. And I think I can't remember. I think she said something along the lines of basically, um, I think she had went to the doctor or somewhere and you know how they ask for your emergency contact. She didn't know who she was going to put because she always put Greg and Greg is no longer here. And I think that brought up some emotions of, oh, my God, you know, I don't have anybody. I need someone who I can count on. I think what I, I think what's going on is I think that people need to get out of the only person that can be an emergency contact. The only person that I can be able to count on in the time of an emergency is if I have a partner. I'm going to tell you all a true story. This happened to me. It's happened to me a couple of times. There have been times where I've had to go, you know, to the doctor's office and you know how they ask for your emergency contact. I remember the first time it happened, it was probably back in 2014, 15. And I was like, oh my God, I don't have any emergency contact. Like I, I didn't I felt like I didn't have an emergency contact. Um and then even after that, I was like, everybody I know you know, starting to have kids, 
boyfriends, girlfriends doing their own thing. And I'm sure that for them, when they think of emergency contact, they just think of their boyfriend, a girlfriend, or side, or side, you know, whatever, girl. Right? And I'm thinking, oh my God, I don't have any emergency contact. And then one day I had to snap out of it. Like, girl, just put your sister down. <laughs> girl, just put your best friend down. So, girl, if I ever, and, and, and this is anywhere you can go to the girl, optometrist, girl, whoever, whomever. Girl, they don't ask for an emergency contact, right? You know? So I think, I, I just think it's one of those things where a lot of us, some of us, um, I think we think too deep into it because how many, how often do they really use the emergency contact? It's just a just in case. But girl, just put a friend down. Just put a a sister down, a brother down, right? And I, th- but I think in Nini's head, Nini thinks that the only person that I will be able to count on is if I'm in a relationship with that person, and, and like an intimate, um, I guess, sexual, because you can still have intimacy even in friendships, um, like an intimate sexual relationship. And if I, if I don't have that, then who is going to be my emergency contact? And then she finally came to the realization. Girl, either I'm going to put my son down or either like my best friend. Girl. But then you move on. But I think Nene is going to have to, you know, while after, after she, you know, goes through whatever she needs to go through, right? And she may, it may be a long time, but, you know, hopefully Nene can come to grips with, girl, you just need to make sure that you build, have a strong circle of friends and that you don't necessarily need to have, girl, a partner, a man, right, in order to feel as though, girl, somebody has your back or to feel as if, girl, if something happens to me, oh my God, who are they going to call? Girl, you probably know people long in real life, no tea, no shade. A lot of us have been knowing people in our lives longer than than we've been knowing our boyfriends, girlfriends, husbands, side chicks, (laughs) girl wives. Like y'all have friends out there who you've been knowing since the second grade and because you break up with a man or because your man may pass away, all of a sudden you act like you don't know who your emergency contact. Girl, your emergency contact is a bitch you've been knowing since third grade. The emergency contact is your person who you've been knowing since college. The emergency contact is your best friend, your guy friend, right? Your best friend who you met during football football camp when y'all were, when, when y'all were eight years old. That's your emergency contact. Your emergency contact does not have to be your husband, a wife, girl, your partner. That is not, that does not, that that's not what that means. But I also have to take into account that that's been Nene's person for a very long time. Right. And I can understand how someone like Nene, who's used to always putting Greg leaks when it came to her, you know, having to put an emergency contact, the person who she thought about is no longer here. So I completely understand that and I have to take that into consideration too. But I hope Nene can get to the point where she realizes that, girl, your life does not end as insensitive as it may sound. Your life should not end. It will not end. I hope it doesn't end because death happens in the in the family. Because the truth of the matter is, girl, a lot of us, uh, well, not a lot. Everybody's going to experience death. Um, either it's before or after a loved one. But everybody's going to experience it. And I hope that Nene can find a way to kind of just like eventually, you know, pull it together and realize that, girl, you have a foundation of friends who love and care for you. And those are your emergency contacts. And those are the women or men who will be there for you until they can. And vice versa. Anyways.